and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Lord Foreman here in Europa Universalis. Once more, playing as Spain. Um, so I asked for feedback last video. I only got one comment, which was go for quantity ideas. So that's probably what I'm going to end up picking here. Um, right now it doesn't matter. I can't afford any of it. Um, in three years, I'll be able to attack Japan, which will be a good target. I'm not sure if I should continue my war of conquest in Indonesia just in general. I mean, it's land, but it's also taking a long time to actually win the war. Plus, Majop is actually in the coalition. To be honest, though, I think they're the only member in the coalition. Yeah. I think they're the only member in the coalition, so I could fight them. I don't know about that. The other option is I can go up here and attack Bottomus, which will call in Pagu, and I can beat them up. So, uh, not sure. I wouldn't mind a war in Europe. Unfortunately, Austria is emperor, so I can't really attack the HRE unless I'm willing to fight the Austrian death stacks that are wandering the landscape. And I have a truce with England for another eight years. Also, Sweden gained independence last video, if anyone cares. The option I'm thinking I might do in the short run is attack Tunis here, which should trigger a war with the Ottomans. And I should be able to call in both Austria and Hungary into the war. Maybe even the Netherlands and Portugal. So I imagine we'd be able to win that. I'm not sure what land I'd take. Probably Egypt and a lot of Tudis's land, which then again would be hard to core. Huh. Maybe I'll create a client state and use that to take Tunis's land. That might be what I do. So if I'm going to do that, let's move troops to the border. I think 200,000 troops ought to be able to do some damage there. Um, also, the other thing I can do, which I think I will, is send troops into the rear of the Ottomans and use them to take Spain. Uh, not Spain, uh, Egypt. The coalition is completely falling apart at the moment. I'm only going to move them to here for the moment, because actually landing them in uh, Oman there is going to be a bit risky. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but my cats are fighting. They're only just tussling. So. Oh well. How am I still trading in slaves? I thought I abolished uh, slavery. I don't know. Okay, well, let's add in the quantity idea. Okay. Still got a ways to go in the modern bureaucracy. In the meantime, I will create a client state here. Tituri, I guess. So I just want to change it. Now I'll leave it the way it is. It's going to, yeah, put me over my diplomatic relations in the short run. But I'll deal with that. Let's see what I would need for an attack on the Ottomans. I'm just going to fabricate a claim for no apparent reason. Oh, two claims. Maybe I can take some of their islands in the uh, Mediterranean. <sighs> Cat sounds like it's getting murdered. <laughs> Which it's not, so. Um, Hungary's massively in debt. Okay, and they've got war exhaustion. Denmark wouldn't join. Netherlands wouldn't join. Well, if I funded Hungary's debt, take on foreign debt, there we are. Oh, I also just got an achievement here. 
Triple A credit is a great power to take on over a thousand ducats of another nation's debt. So I guess it's called ducats. I always just called it gold, to be honest. Okay. How many leaders can I support? Four at the moment, and I have two. Okay. There's another one. I'm gonna have to go over the limit here briefly. Or for this war. Considering I'll probably lose a general in this war. Not too worried about it. Austria, Portugal, Hungary, all versus the Ottomans and Tunis. Here we go. I should. Oh, and there's the coalition once more. Duh. Um, I should pretty much. Okay, I don't know why it's letting this army march past their defenses. <laughs> that was weird. Um, I was going to let my army march right past their fort because I couldn't see it when I launched the march order. Seems like a bit of a glitch. Okay, this is... We should have the upper hand in this. Let's see how it all works out, though. Oh yeah, I could use my transport fleet and drop troops. Oh yeah, of course they conquered that province. They must have an army sitting waiting for it. Okay, we've taken this area. Rebels are going to keep popping up everywhere. At least hopefully they don't, we're not going to cause a problem. We have Savoy Rebels, but they're somewhere in Australia. I suppose I should look. Noble Rebels 6, oh they're doomed. Okay, nice and easy. Keep advancing on the Tunisian capital. Actually, I can send these two forces down to take the border with the Ottomans. And looks like the Ottomans have been driven out of Europe by Hungary and Austria for the moment. So good for them. Would I lose? Oh, one of these advisors. Um, I'm going to need a level 3 advisor at some point. But, ooh, that's expensive. Fifty per month. It's a lot of money, but I can afford it for the time being. He's making a break for it. Perfect. Oops. Nice. Jose Monino, I guess. Interesting. Cool. Well, it's putting me very close to the next admin tech level. Now if I can only just take that fort, I can actually siege their capital. Really? They're going to attack me? Well, they just really lost. <laughs> it wasn't even close to a fair fight. There we are. More efficiency, development efficiency, and more states. Not that I can really... Not that I have the admin power to actually make states in Corrit. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen this. I have a 99% chance of taking it. Not 100, 99. Which apparently rounds to 100 in this game. Okay. The last of the Tunisian forces is falling. The Ottomans are... seemingly doing fairly well. Hmm.
Luckily, I've got the uh, improved foraging, so I'm barely losing any troops in the desert. There we are. On to Egypt. Oops, I'll leave Portugal to take that area. That also means I can ship over my army from here. Or, well, I might not want to. They do have 30, 43,000 troops right there. Um, well, I might as well take their um, Ethiopian territories, if I've got the time. And my navy doesn't get ambushed. Okay. And that army should be set there because it's in range of supply ships from Mahe. Wow, they're actually having trouble stopping the Ottomans, it looks like. Okay, Hungary's army marched into Russia, which is probably part of the issue. Okay, Tunis has fallen. Not that that helps much with my really war goal of attacking the Ottomans. Um, I'm going to give it all to the state here, though, if I can. Because late game, the uh, client states can take so much more land than you, I found. I just gotta make sure to give myself one or two of these territories, just so I can use it to want to fabricate claims and stuff. Sorry, this takes a while. Um, very soon I'll be able to actually uh, launch my war with Japan once more. I think I'll save the little island there. Oops. Oh, that's nice. I accidentally gave it to the wrong person and allowed me to reselect what I wanted to use it for. There is going to be so many religious rebels in this land, though. Oops, wrong one again. I wonder how much I could actually take from them in a war. Hmm. Looks like that's about the most I could take. But that's the majority of the Tunis Tunisian lands. That might be a goal. I'd like to do damage to the Ottomans, though, ideally. Colony completed. Oh, nice. Still got a long way to go in Brazil. The Ottomans and the Austrians seem to be at a bit of a stalemate, to be honest. Even Hungary is holding in the war, mainly because we're winning. They started off with some nasty war exhaustion. I'll take the mercantile hit to keep the loyalty of colonial nations. Yeah, raise war taxes. My empire kind of depends on me not having armed forts. Oops, they retook Constantinople, the Ottomans. Um, I do want a separate peace them if possible. If at all possible, I want a separate peace to the Ottomans, because then they can try and do damage to their empire. Although this Sinai fort is going to take a little while. Yeah, this is 
I was worried about. Oh, it doesn't look like they're actually going to attack me. Interesting. Um, yeah, I'll take the level three advisor. Oh, that's gonna be ah, uh, yeah, that army's doomed. Oh boy. Oh, surprisingly not at the moment. They can't make up their mind if they actually want to attack. Unfortunately, Jan Japan just joined a coalition against me, so I can't actually... Oh, bother. I was hoping to get away with that, but apparently I'm not going to. But I did manage to save the army. Whew, that was close. Uh, I'm going to relocate it into Japan just because that's going to be my next war goal. Ooh, that was lucky. Apparently I could attack a province and then retreat through the same province I just attacked. A feat of luck unmatched by anything else I've done lately. Oh, Austria, Hungary, can you just please beat up the Ottomans? You should be able to win wars against them. Yeah. They can win up a win a straight up fight. I don't know why they're not. Oh, Hungary pieced out. Oh, that's not good. And I'm about to go into debt. Yep. Oh, I didn't want to have to do all this stuff, but I will. Mothball forts. Re-raise forts. It's kind of the only fort I need raised, I think, at the moment. Yeah, obviously I'm going to lose that fort. Tunis is interest in the war right now. Oh, because of battle. That makes sense. Yeah, now I'm not losing money nearly as fast. Brave Austria is continuing the fight against the Ottomans. Whereas the Ottomans seem fairly reluctant to actually engage my 200,000 group down here. Come on, Austria, you need to win this fight. Did they, they just, okay, they didn't lose their full military. Whew, that was close. I just saw their army just disappear and I was worried. Luckily, it doesn't seem to be much. send this army down here to kick out the Ottomans. Hmm, might as well do that. Send a couple regiments. 80,000 should be enough. I don't really care. If they, if they take some of Serbia and Bosnia, it really doesn't matter to me. Okay. Apparently, yeah, Portugal's finally intruded into my colonial areas. Wish the AIs would respect the boundaries a bit better, but too much to hope, I guess. Uh, 
Oh, I could repay the loan, but I don't know if it's worth it. Oh, I'll repay it. Still puts me very low in debt. Uh, very low to going into debt again. Oh, Tunisian peasants just freed Tunis. I don't think I got even a notification about that. Oh well, let's go kick them out. Oh nice. The Ottomans have some very bad forts deep in their territory. I'm going to take as much advantage of it as possible. They only have medium enthusiasm now. Of course, on the other hand, it's easy for them to retake the land, too. I have no idea why the Ottomans just attacked me there. I don't know if they know either. There's no numbers I can run that show an even Ottoman force beating a Spanish one in straight out combat. But uh, the Ottoman armies have withdrawn from Europe to fight me. Oops, maximum monarch power reached. Upgrading spree. Anything with low levels developed? Ah, yes. There we are. As developed as I can get them. Thousand monarch points. No aid, I'm not giving you aid, I don't have any money. Ooh, that's not good losing that siege. Oh, on the other hand, if I just obliterate their troops like that, I'm a fan of that. When that siege, we should win these battles because they don't have to seemingly have a good general there. Still want to fight on, huh? Okay. See what I can do to discourage them. And another general died. Where did he die? Ah, he died retaking Tunis. Oh, unfortunate. I could get the Ottomans to leave the war. That would be a nice one because then I could build the Suez Canal and just station my troops right in the middle of Ottoman territory, but it doesn't appear to be an option at the moment. Another Ottoman army defeated. What are they thinking of the war? They're not a big fan of it. Okay, good. And Austria, however, is not a big fan of the war at the moment either. Oops. 
I need more troops there. I need them there now. Good thing they retreated. I was in trouble. Is the Ottoman juggernaut running out of steam? Have they just lost all their manpowers on it? No, they could still fight on for quite a while. Huh. I just have... Do I have more troops than them? Yeah, I've got more troops than them at the moment. Interesting. That would not have been what I would have guessed the score was, but... Okay, won that area. Call for peace. Tunis is 100% surrendered. Okay. Let's pass any more land I can to my client state. Let's see, can I... Okay, so that's as much land as I can take from them. Let's take another one or two Ottoman provinces and demand land of my own from them. I think what's really happened is uh, Austria's just run out of troops to fight the Ottomans. Okay, victory there. Surprisingly, victory there as well, I think. Yes, okay. And the Ottomans do want peace now. Good. I want both of those provinces. Anything else I can take? Oh, I can take two of the Ottoman provinces. Boy, that war score is high. Release nations, maybe? No, they still won't release nations. Okay. I'll take both of those and... ask them to release Modashu, I guess. Yeah. Negotiate that easily. Well, that's a victory against the Ottomans for sure. Oops. Ignoring the phone call. Yeah. Okay. Um, core both of those. Let's demand what land I can from Tunis, which may actually not be that easy. Uh, I can get a lot of land. Okay. Uh, it doesn't uh, it cost me a lot of overextension. If I take that away. Oops, somebody else is. Sorry about that. That shouldn't be that. It shouldn't be hearing from this person. My mistake. My apologies. I just dropped. <laughs> dropped both my keyboard and the phone. Um, ay ay ay, person, don't call. The person keeps calling thinking that uh, this is the correct place to call, but it's actually uh, our neighbors they mean to call. Um, take a little less land. Hmm. The Ottomans are going to be in a coalition anyway, might as well take as much land as I can. Okay. Land gain. Nice. I can't annex them for a while, but I don't need to. Core that one Tunisian province that is mine. Actually, wait, why am I coring it? I should just convert it. There There's going to be so much rebellion there. Um, I got to get ships and get my troops out of the Middle East. 
Actually, I can just march these troops back through to Spain itself, right? Well, actually, the odds of me having another war in Europe that's not against the Ottomans is kind of low. Okay, I'll just do that. Okay, so definitely damage done to the Ottomans, and the Tunisians lost 80% of their land. <laughs> and the coalition will collapse, and I can start a war against the Japanese. Let me see how I'm doing time-wise. Um, not too great. Sorry for that weird visual glitch there. It seems to happen every time I tab out of the game. Um, so, since Japan is still in the coalition and I'm up to about 30 minutes, I'll probably continue uh, next video and start a war against Japan itself, hoping to probably wipe them out, or at least take the majority of their land this time. So, that will be it for this video. Hopefully next time we'll also get our first quantity idea, because I ended up spending all the military power in generals. But in the meantime, that will be it from me. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and sorry for that interruption towards the end. Bye for now.